welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to make danul korma or coriander korma danul means coriander or cilantro in kashmiri danul korma is a luxurious meat korma bursting with refreshing flavors of coriander tangy taste of yogurt and multitude of mild spices this yogurt and coriander meat korma brings out the right amount of freshness making it irresistible and appealing succulent piece of meat are infused with fresh coriander and a host of kashmiri flavors balanced out in a thick yogurt based gravy so let's get started for making this korma i have taken a bunch of chopped fresh coriander oil 2 tablespoons a pinch of turmeric 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds 4 cloves 1 stick of cinnamon 6 green cardamom 1 black cardamom a te teaspoon of coriander powder 1 teaspoon of fennel seed powder 5 to 6 chopped garlic cloves and curd around 1 kg meat around uh, 800 grams two thinly sliced onions and salt according to your taste now in a cooker i have taken meat and two glasses of water half of the whole spices salt fennel seed powder dry coriander powder garlic and turmeric and cook it up to two whistles till then let's cook yogurt in a pan i have taken whisked yogurt on high flame and keep stirring it till it gets its first boil it's same way that we cook yogurt for yakni we have to keep it stirring so that it won't curdle on high flame Now the yogurt has been boiling. I'll keep it on low flame and let it cook for a while. It takes around 5 to 6 minutes for yogurt to get its first boil. Till then we have to be patient, keep it stirring so that it won't curdle. Now in a pan I have taken 2 tablespoons of oil and added onions to it. We have to fry onions till they turn golden brown. So once they turn brown, we will take them out, blend them a bit or crush them manually. Now in the same oil I have added remaining whole spices cumin seeds three green cardamoms a clove saute them and then add cooked meat the flame here I have kept is between low to medium mix properly and let it fry a bit now once it has been frying for a while Now I'll be adding chopped coriander. There are two ways to add coriander. Either at this stage you can add coriander with the meat uh, or you can add later when you add meat to yogurt mixture and then uh, add coriander. But personally I feel while adding coriander to meat it gives a very good aroma and I'm adding also onion paste. So it totally depends on you where you when you want to add coriander. And we will fry these co coriander and meat nicely then we will add this fried coriander and meat to yogurt mixture mix them properly and then i am adding a cup of meat stock here i would like to mention that i had cooked meat till it was half done that's only two whistles that's why i am adding enough water so that it will get cooked in yogurt and the stock if you have cooked meat properly then you don't need to add one cup you can add less and i'll keep it on low flame for around 20 minutes so after 20 minutes the annual korma is ready at this stage i'll check the salt and gravy consistency i'll keep it on high flame for around 3 minutes and then dish it out the annual korma is a mild curry the yogurt lends in richness to the korma while coriander adds a tempting fresh flavor It's bursting with subtle flavors and will tempt you endlessly. Give it a try and let me know in comments how it turns. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and turn on the bell icon for notifications. Have a nice day.